Hello everyone, it's Brandon here with another video. Now I've been quiet for last week because I didn't go to Barnsley v Luton, so I didn't do a video at all. I haven't done a preview for Huddersfield Town, but I'm just going straight into it and I'm going to do my review, my review for Luton Tower v Huddersfield Town at home. Today's date, the 31st of August 2019. On a Saturday. Now, Huddersfield Town at home. My God, what a freaking result and game. <laughs> I thought, you know, going to this game was very confident because Huddersfield haven't won a single game and they've just come from the Premier League. Now, the end result was Luton Town 2, Huddersfield Town 1. Huddersfield Town took the lead. I believe it's an own goal. It wasn't the Huddersfield players that scored because it came off, I believe it was James Bree or Bolton. One of the two, one of the two. It came off and it went in the back of the net. But <clears throat> that's how it all started. And then... Lewin got a penalty, and who's there to take it? None other than James Collins. Now, from seeing how he took the penalty, he did score. He has been practicing and practicing, and it proves that he can take penalties now. The keeper went the right way, but he placed it in the bottom left corner, and that made it one all. At home, Luton Town. And then in the second half, well, all goals came second half, actually. Yeah, all the goals came second half. And then pure masterclass of Andrew Shinney. He turned and then turned back on his weak foot and shot from about 20, 30 yards, somewhere around there, with his weak foot and placed it perfectly past the keeper. I was like, he's gonna shoot it, isn't he? He's gonna shoot, he's gonna shoot. And what happened? He turned on his weak foot and scored a worldie. That goal was too good. And the game ended 2-1. Now the referee, Ah, oh, the referee today. Seriously, the amount of filth the Huddersfield players, Huddersfield players did today. Foul after foul after foul. Now, there were a lot of dirty tackles and the referee only gave one Huddersfield or two Huddersfield players a yellow card. But no, okay, we'll make a sub. We'll bring Izzy Brown on. He makes one bad tackle and all of a sudden, oh yeah, I'll get my yellow card out on freaking shot, yeah? Yeah, he gives Izzy Brown a freaking yellow card. Now fair play to the, fair play to the Huddersfield fans with their chant. <laughs> he played Liverpool, well, it's been to Stamford Bridge, Anfield, the Etihad, and now we're playing Lewin away. Now they were singing proudly when they went 1-0. So then, when we came, it was 2-1, two, two, <laughs> we said, you lost at Stamford Bridge, Anfield, and the Etihad, and now you're losing 2-1 to Luton away. <laughs> oh, that chant, that chant is amazing. But, my God, today was brilliant. Now, obviously, there might not be many videos on my YouTube channel as much, because... This Tuesday, on the 3rd of September, I am going to Mallorca. But, there may be some videos, if I can be asked to do it, or if I have the chance, okay? For now, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be doing any videos. But yeah, players today, Sluger was awesome. Everyone's slating him off, saying, oh, Sluka's rubbish. 
we don't, Sluger doesn't deserve to be number one keeper. Sluger doesn't deserve to do this. Sluger doesn't deserve to be in the first team. And it should be James Shea. I'm sorry. We bought him for 1.3 mil, I believe it was, somewhere around there. He is not worthless. He didn't cost that much money because he's crap. He is class. Everyone's slating him off, saying, oh, Sluka's this, oh, Sluka's that. We need to put Shea in goal. We need to drop Sluka. Well, to be fair, he does not need to be dropped. He was just getting used to playing in England and in the Championship football, which, believe it or not, people will know this anyway, League One to the Championship is a different ball game. As I've said in some of my videos already, the Championship is a different ball game. We started with one point, then we lost some games, now we've won two games in a row. Okay, we'll be Cal uh, we'll be Cardiff in the Carabao Cup. The League Cup, EFL Cup, whatever the bloody hell they call it. They call it the Carabao Cup. I don't like calling it that. But we beat Cardiff. And we've got three wins in the trot. Now, the next game is September the 14th against QPR at Loftus Road. Now, I cannot wait for that. Because, oh my God. I've heard rumours that if you wear Luton tops and all that stuff in Loftus, there will be fights and brawls. And of course, you won't be able to go in the pubs after. But I cannot wait. I cannot wait for that game. That's after my holiday, which I'm going from Tuesday the 3rd till the 13th. No, 11th. But yeah, it's not too bad. I'm going to be back here rolling gonna be working and then you know see what happens after but yeah today I am so impressed with the squad Sonny Bradley was brilliant Tony Cliff was brilliant Shinny was brilliant excuse me Matty Pearson was brilliant every player on that Luton squad was brilliant okay there might have been a couple minors but today it was a good game. Now, Huddersfield, as I know, they're on a losing streak. And if it's only the start, but they've got to start winning games. I don't know who they've got next. But they've got to start winning games or they might be going League One. But it's too early to say that because, you know, there's 43 games in the... 46 games, sorry. There was 46 games in the Championship. 23 home, 23 away. But yeah, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit long, but I have to get my uh, stuff out. But thanks again for watching this video. If you're new here, please like, subscribe, share, comment, and let me know if there's any way I can improve my videos. I used to put music in the background, but now I don't do it because I don't think it's good and it's not long enough anyway. But yeah, please like, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video, maybe a holiday. Peace out.